Hey everybody, Shane here, Shoebox Legends. Thanks for joining me for the second in a three-part series that I'm doing this week on my various cheese boxes. I was asked uh, recently in a comment uh, how many I have and what's stored in each of them, and so I thought it would be a fun series this week uh, to do a rummage through each of the three different cheese boxes where I store my pickups that are waiting to be processed and put away into my proper collection. And we started off in the first installment with the Wilson Certified Cheese Box that you see way in the background there, uh, containing Com C pickups. And today, in installment two, I'm gonna get into this That Good Sante Cream Cheese Box, which contains uh, online pickups uh, that are a little more significant. The Com C Box has a lot of cheaper cards, uh, you know, $2 or less, that kind of stuff. Uh, the nicer cards that I'm buying off eBay, or in some cases, maybe a little bit more expensive cards off of Com C, they tend to go into this box here, the Sante cream cheese box. So let's do a uh, about a 10 minute rummage here, see what we pull out. Uh, and we start with a great card here, one of the hottest players in baseball and one of my favorite players to collect over the last few years, Mookie Betts. This is the 2023 Tops, the red foil, which is a nice match for the red and the Dodgers logo. Um, these are numbered to just 199. I have copy 87 here. They've done these parallels for a few years running now. Um, I particularly like them when I can get a team color match. Um, they don't make blue. There's not a blue foil, or at least there wasn't prior to 2024. Um, here in 2023, there was no blue. So red was the closest I could get to a, a team color match for Mookie. So great bets card to start us off. He's cooled off a little after his torrid first week, but is still uh, near the top of many of the offensive uh, leaderboards. And he's playing shortstop now out of nowhere, which is just insane to me. Uh, next up, this is a brand new pickup. I just dropped this uh, into the cheese box within the last week. Grab this on eBay from 2020 Tops Finest. This is the Justin Verlander Gold Refractor, JV. Shout out to my buddy Dan at Old Sarge Collects, who's a, an Astros fan. Uh, Verlander, of course, one of the premier 21st century hurlers. Uh, he's up there with, you know, Kershaw, uh, Verlander, Scherzer, you know, there's a select group of uh, pitchers that have kind of distanced themselves uh, from the rest of the pack. And uh, his cards are pretty cheap, you know, for being a gold number to 50, uh, was able to pick this up for less than the cost of a retail blaster uh, shipped to my door even after shipping and taxes. So uh, pretty nice Verlander there. I don't super collect him or anything, but uh, I do love gold number to 50. And that just seemed like too good of a deal to, to really pass up. Continuing on, it's an all-baseball start here, and this is a player that I know uh, has a tremendous future in the game uh, and a lot of fans in Kansas City and beyond, Bobby Witt Jr. And this is a pro debut 2021 Bobby Witt Jr. card, of, of course, uh, prior to his rookie cards, which came after this. Uh, but what I love about this, this is the gold. Number to 50, just like the Verlander that we saw a minute ago, a gold out of 50. This is not a refractor uh, like you typically think of with a gold number to 50, um, but it's just, uh, it's more like what you would see out of a, a gold serial numbered to the year of release in the flagship set. Um, it's that type of gold finish, uh, but in pro debut, those are numbered to 50. So really kind of a sneaky, you know, pre-career Bobby Witt Jr. card there. And I think he's someone who's got as I said, a tremendous future ahead of him and so much potential. Um, just a really, really exciting player. And I think someday, uh, you know, far down the line in my collecting future, I may thank myself for, for having picked that one up. I remember I got that for under $20 and I was just kind of astonished at that price point. Uh, here's a second copy of a card that I've shown before. Uh, I showed this actually somewhat recently. I did an episode on ultra pro worthy pickups that were stored in one Touch Magnetics, and I showed a copy of this Jordan, but I picked up a second copy as well, uh, found another one that went for about that $10 price point, and this is a card I mentioned at the time that I learned about, uh, thanks to my buddy Eric over at Those Back Pages, and it's an example of YouTube kind of teaching me more about the hobby and exposing me to a card that I wouldn't have known about otherwise. Um, this is just a base card from 2002, 2003 Upper Deck, so it's not anything fancy, but it's a great throwback you know, a reimagined card of what, you know, an Upper Deck star rookie would have looked like potentially for Jordan had Upper Deck been making basketball cards, you know, back in the 80s. So just a $10 Jordan there, but I, I really believe in that card and uh, Eric really sold me on it. 
Uh, we got our second Mookie Betts now of the uh, of the, the rummage here from the Sante box. This one is from Topps Gold Label, and it is the blue number to 150. And this, I'm actually going to take this out of this top loader because this thing is all scuffed up, and it's not really doing the card justice, but a really nice foil card. I love Gold Label. Uh, I'm a fan of this release with the dual images. Uh, you get a fielding pose and a batting pose all in one. And of course, blue is sort of a team color match for the Red Sox. Number to 150. Here's a quick look at the back. This is a 2017 gold label card there. So this was just a cheap pickup. It was like under $5. It's probably more like $2, something like that. But uh, Mookie, love collecting Mookie bets and uh, can't seem to stop myself from uh, continually adding new bets cards to the collection. Oops, let me uh, shift these over a little bit, try to make some more space on the right. All right. Uh, let's see if we can, we have one basketball card, but it's basically been all baseball and we're going to continue on that trend. And this is one that I'm really proud to have found, um, in 2010 tops, they did these franchise history cards in the base set. Um, this is just a base card number 41 on the checklist. And for the Dodgers, they chose to show Ebbets field, the home of the Brooklyn Dodgers, uh, back in the day. And so I love that. And this is the tops black version of the Ebbets Field card. And uh, for those, most of you probably know, but for those who don't, Topps Black, a parallel that goes back over 20 years now and pretty tough to get. Um, the serial numbering increments by one every year, but back in 2010, these were numbered to just 59. You know, nowadays they're numbered to like 73 or 74, whatever it's up to, uh, do the math rolling forward, but a uh, really cool card there. I, I think this is one of the only serial numbered stadium cards that I uh, that I have in my whole collection. And I've always been somewhat obsessed, I guess, with Ebbets Field. I used to say, you know, when I was a kid and people would ask, you know, time machine, where would you go if you could go back in time, you know, to anywhere in the past and experience it? And, you know, some kids would be like, I want to see the dinosaurs or whatever. And I, I always thought I wanted to go back uh, to Ebbets Field in like the late 1940s and, and see a Brooklyn Dodgers game. That would just be so cool. Um, so really, really pleased to have that one. <laughs> How about yet another version of the uh, the infamous 2023 Prism Pete Rose card? Uh, I'm a big, big believer in this card. I've talked about it, I feel like, probably half a dozen times now, uh, and I continue to pull them out of my boxes during these rummages. Uh, but this image is all time. It's one of my favorite Pete Rose cards. I've largely showed the plain red, uh, which is numbered to 199. This is the red ice, which is basically an atomic deal going on here. And these are not serial numbered, but not super easy to get either. It's not a valuable or rare card. I'm, I'm confident that I paid probably around three to four dollars for this, um, but they've somewhat dried up. So happy to have that Pete. Just another version of that card. Kind of super collected the uh, 2023 Prism Pete Rose. And next up, this is, I, I can almost guarantee you this is going to be the most random card in today's rummage. Check this out. This is a Lord of the Rings Bilbo Baggins uh, stained glass insert from a Topps Lord of the Rings set that they did. Uh, they put this set out. Uh, you can see if I hold it with some backlighting here, this has like a really awesome stained glass effect. And uh, not to nerd out too much here, uh, baseball cards are nerdy enough, but when I was a little kid growing up, uh, these were my absolute favorite books, The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. And of course, Bilbo uh, the character that was in both of those books, or one of the characters that was in both of those book series, uh, The Hobbit and the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy to an extent, uh, at least as a bit character or an outside character. And uh, I just think it's beyond cool that there's a stained glass Bilbo Baggins card. Uh, just uh, for somebody who's a fan of those books like myself and collects trading cards, uh, doesn't get much cooler than that. Uh, we'll put him here in front of Mookie so you get some of that shine uh, coming through. But uh, yeah, a great non-fiction or non-sport card there in a mostly baseball episode. Let's do a couple more here. We got another Upper Deck exclusives. We saw some of these in the first cheese box rummage that I did in this series a couple of days ago. Now we have Hall of Famer Nick Lidstrom, one of the best defensemen ever to play the game. Uh, just so many. He routinely racked up the Norris Trophy as top defenseman in the league. And I love this. This is a late career card. I think it may even be his final card. And I love that he is fittingly waving to the faithful in Detroit. Uh, sort of a salute or an adios, you know, in his legendary career. So great red card there to follow that red Pete Rose. 
And let's finish it off with one more here. And it's gonna be our third and final Mookie Bets of today's video. This is from 2022 Stadium Club. And this is the members only parallel. I've talked about these before. They are case hits, so not super easy to pull given that they parallel the entire checklist. You only get one per case. And I love the horizontal image on this Mookie card. It really conveys his speed really, really well. Just the way the shot is framed and the angle, um, you know, it, it's a great card. Not something you see every day. I do prefer like his batting images, like this one that let off the video. Uh, but as I collect bets, I like to get some different things mixed in as well that show the other aspects and elements of his game. And uh, props to Tops for the 2022 Stadium Club card, uh, which I think does a great job illustrating his speed. So that's going to be a wrap on uh, part two of three. Look through the uh, Sante Cream Cheese box today. And uh, tune back in in a couple of days. We're going to have the third and final installment in this uh, week-long cheese box series here on the channel. Uh, until then, I hope you're all enjoying the hobby and take care.